susunod na programa ay rated PG. Ito ay nangangailangan ng patnubay at gabay ng magulang para sa mga batang manunood. Warning. The following content may contain elements that are not suitable for some audiences. Viewer discretion is advised. Hoya Basu Inside the creepiest forest in Transylvania. Forget Dracula's, Count Dracula's Castle, Transylvania's really frightful <coughs> places is haunted forest, Hoya Basu, so people can go for a nighttime stroll. We are in the clearing. The tree stops in a uniform oval where nothing grows and where, since official records began, nothing has grown. Once when I came here, says Alex, our guide, I found 60 people from Bucharest trying to open a gate into another dimension. This is Hoya Basu, just outside Cluj, Napoca, Romania, second city in the depths of Transylvania. It has been called the creepiest forest in the world, and the clearing is allegedly the creepiest places in the forest. It defies the investigation of soul scientists and attract Romanian witches, sword-wielding Americans, and people who try to cleanse the forest of evil through the medium of yoga. In the English-speaking world, the words Transylvania and Halloween conjure up the pre-twilight Edward Cullen scaling the walls of this castle, but tourists coming to Romania for a Dracula experience are likely to leave disappointed. Romania is resistant to the Dracula legend. His namesake Vlad Dracul, or more commonly Vlad the Impaler, is a national hero, and the Bran Castle is the most explicitly Dracula-themed attraction, has only tenuous connection to Stoker's creation, plus the prigorish feel of a national trust property. So here I am, on a nighttime tour of the Hoya Basu forest, trying to find a real fright in the autumnal Transylvania. Named after a shepherd who went missing in the forest with a flock of 2,200 sheep, Hoya Basu came into international attention in 1968 when Emil Barnea, a military technician, photographed what he claimed that was a UFO hovering over the clearing. What differentiates this story from the other UFO claims is that Barnea had nothing to gain from reporting the sightings and everything to lose. The communist government equated the belief in the paranormal with madness and state sabotage and Barnea lost its job in his country which had no support for the sack. Today, visitors to the forest report strange symptoms, nausea, anxiety, the feeling of being watched, and the failure of electronic devices. Ectoplasms are routinely seen by joggers brave enough to enter. Alex show a picture of the forest photobombed by shadow figures. One shows a man in a traditional dress of northern Romania, a very local ghost. Alex and his... Alex likes to maintain a healthy distance from the more full-on forest myths, like the story of the five-year-old girl who disappeared in the forest emerging years later, unchained and in the same clothes, yet even he's not immune to the legends of Hoya Basu. Originally, I'd asked of whether we could camp in the forest overnight, have been told it was possible. He had politely rebuffed me, blaming the October weather. But it turns out Alex doesn't like sleeping in the forest. The first time he camped overnight, he tells me once we're inside it, he and his friends kept being woken by a very loud hoof noise, like a horse or a particularly large deer. Every time they would stick their head from out from the tent to investigate, the noise would stop. The next time, he slept in a hammock to get closer to whatever was causing the sound. His visit was cut short when a bat smashed into his face. Now, the easy part is over. Twilight has passed, the sun has set, and we are very much alone in the dense dark forest, or are we? We point our past flashlight and misshapen trees, many grown in zigzag patterns or in spirals, a phenomenon which has not been plausibly explained by any scientists who have come to investigate. What's more? Every single tree that spiraled does so in a clockwise direction. 
I asked the creepiest thing that has happened to him to the tours. Well, there was a man who went crazy thinking he'd met a demon. He just got a massive tattoo of a demon on his chest to ward off demons. But the scariest thing happened to my colleague. He once did an extended night tour one-on-one -on -one with a very morbid man who talked about his obsession with death, how he enjoyed being with people as they die, watching them die. That was a long night for Marius. Alex and Marius are famous in Japan where 20 million people watched a documentary about ghost hunting in Hoyabaku in 2015. They came a long way since 2013 when they were contemplating starting a business of taking tourists to the forest. And their friends declared they were nuts. They said, even locals are too scared to come to the forest. Foreigners will think you are going to take them to a dark, creepy place then rip out their kidneys. We reach a tree that has grown in an old ark. Perhaps this is the portal to another dimension we walk through. And Alex tells us to make a wish. Some locals believe the, the energy of the forest can be used for good, he says. And now we emerge to see the skyline of Cluj Napoca. There have been no aliens, no ghosts, no moments of fear. Either only strange sense of fatigue experienced by another woman on the tour. But then, I remember Alex words before we set off. The forest is only hunted if you bring your own ghosts.